chest up and catch that frame Cause beauty is my name What up y'all? So today is March 1st and I'm doing something very exciting today, y'all. I am planning my mom's birthday trip. A surprise birthday trip, because she has no idea about it. I'm gonna keep it simple. And my brother actually gave me the advice to do Puerto Rico, because we can go there and it doesn't require a passport. So, right now, I am on Travelocity. Again, shout out to my brother. He sent it to me. And basically, on Travelocity, I guess you get to choose the hotel, the flight, and everything. Like, it's a bundle package type of thing. So, I am struggling right now, y'all between three different hotels that I'm gonna show y'all real quick. This is the first hotel. This would be the total price, including like both flights for us nonstop. Cause I don't do that one stop stuff. I don't have like the time or patience for it. So I did a nonstop flight. That hotel, I was getting a sweet one bedroom ocean view. And that hotel is actually the furthest from the airport. Cause obviously we're gonna have to like Uber or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know y'all, but I'm about to show y'all what the room is gonna look like or would look like if I got it this one I hate that you can't see like the whole thing but I planned on getting this sweet one bedroom ocean view and that's what it says it looks like so I hope they're not lying but that's this room and I just like that like the living room is separate from the bedroom let's see if we can see the bathroom so I guess this is what the bathrooms are looking like which I really like they're all white hella classy and bougie I like it yeah, and then that will be like the pool area. And you see the ocean is like right off over there, which I really like too. Then it has a little restaurant seating area. It's very pretty, very classy. So yeah, that's what that hotel looks like. The other hotel I'm looking at is Ace Hotel by Marriott. This came out to a little over 2,000. Gosh, it's only two rooms left. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna show y'all what this room looks like. This is the hotel I'm pretty sure I'm really, really leaning towards, by the way. I planned on getting the sweet one bedroom balcony. These say the same thing, but this square footage in this room is less than this one. I think this is the room that I'd be getting because I see the seating area, the living room area, the bedroom, and I guess the washroom somewhere over there. But yeah, it has a nice view. You can see the ocean from there and then it has a pool area and stuff. But I think we'd have to like walk a little bit to the ocean whereas the other one I showed you guys is literally like steps away from the ocean. And then this last one that I'm looking at is Courtyard by Marriott Hotel. I was looking at the quality room balcony. Oh, and this one is a little over 2000 also. It's like 2100 or almost 2200. And I just fell in love with the freaking view, y'all. Like, look at that. I just don't like images like this though. Because I be feeling like, like, why didn't you take the full image? Are you trying to play me? Like, I always feel like that with those type of images. I feel like I wouldn't be getting as much bang for my buck with this one. It's alright, but it ain't, it ain't like the other two. Other than like the pool area and stuff. They really got me with the pool area. It's just very aesthetically pleasing outside, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's the second most expensive one, and... I don't love the room. I want to love the room because we're going to be there for three nights. So I think I'm actually going to X that one. So now it's between the most expensive one and the cheapest one. And they're not even that big of a difference in price range. I don't know y'all, but I will let you guys know when I make a decision because this is hard. So I decided to go with the AC Hotel by Marriott and I decided to get the sweet one bedroom balcony. It actually has two bathrooms. It comes with free bottled water, Netflix. It has a living room and sitting area. And it's only $52 plus per night. And even with all that, it's still cheaper than the other hotel that I was looking at. Plus the other hotel was saying something about a $59 per night daily charge or something like that. I don't know, it was just kind of acting a little weird. So I'm gonna go for this one. From the pictures, it looks like the ocean isn't too far from there. So having a nice little walk over there won't be bad anyway because we'll get to sightsee a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and finalize things. Now, I don't really know how this jumped to this price, to be honest, but it's still cheaper than the other hotel. So it says it's gonna be $1,131.27 per person. So that's really good for three nights in Puerto Rico. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in all this info and then I'll come back. Wow, y'all, it's official. The trip is booked. 
but oh hell no, we don't need rent. So today is March 15th. I'm really excited because today is the day I'm gonna tell my mom about the Puerto Rico trip because it gives her 15 days, so about two weeks to prepare for it. She has absolutely no idea, y'all. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of scared for her because I don't know how the heart is going to take this, you know. She's never really been out. The, well, we went out the country once when I was younger to Africa to visit my family. But it wasn't, it was leisure, but it was like us meeting my dad's side of the family in person for the first time ever. So it was more of like a eventful type of trip. Whereas this, I feel like it's the first trip that she's ever been able to go on and it's 100% relaxation like if she want to chill in a hotel room all day we're gonna do that if she want to go to the beach all day we're gonna do that it's just what she wants to do she never ever ever has had that opportunity so i'm so excited i'm not nervous at all she's gonna be excited but i'm just i'm just really excited so are y'all ready are y'all ready i'm ready mm -hmm. pop a squat real quick before you leave mm -hmm. how have you been Good. Has the weather been crazy out here? It was. Yeah. It got cold again. Yeah. Right when I thought we were gonna. Dang. It was in the sixties when y'all left. And now it's like thirty. And it's cold, so I'm gonna have to change my clothes. Aren't you tired of this cold? I am. Well, I feel as though we should leave for a little bit, get away from the cold. And I know your birthday is coming up in like two weeks. Is it your birthday is like two weeks away because it's the 15th. It sure is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this week, this month is gone. Yeah. I feel like you should tell, um, what is her name, Latrice? Mm -hmm. That you need a full week off because about a month ago I booked us a flight to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Oh, 
Y'all, so I just got crazy dope news. Oh, this is Bay, by the way. Don't he look so handsome? Hey, Bay. Um, so I just got off the phone. It's such a small world, y'all, and God is working. I was just telling Josh that right before I got on here. So I've been looking for a Chicago braider for the longest. I asked Beauty Gang on Instagram if they had any um, like braiders they wanted to suggest to me to reach out. <clears throat> I was trying to do like basically a collab with a Chicago braider where they would braid my hair and then in exchange I would like post them on social media so you guys can see how dope they are. So I've been looking, 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 had some fails with some braiders and stuff. And then last night I was on um, Instagram, like I think I was going through Chicago braider hashtags or something and this girl popped up and I went on her page and she followed me. So I was like, hmm, and I looked at her content. So long story short, earlier this year in January, I had my African Pride campaign slash photo shoot. Now I got a silk press, but one of the girls that was also in the campaign with me, she got her hair braided, box braids. And the girl whose page I ended up on is the one who did it. And we got to talk and like, so we were around each other, we got to meet each other and stuff. And I was like, girl, like what a small world. It was just by happen chance that I stumbled across her page. And we are two weeks out for me and my mom going to Puerto Rico and she agreed to do it. She's so happy and she's super excited. She's willing to do my mom's hair too and it's just like god really be working y'all and it's just so awesome that honestly the other people that i reached out to before finding her said no or like never responded back and stuff because this was meant to be like someone who has great energy and great vibes and i'm so excited for y'all to see what hairstyle i'm gonna get and yeah just meet her and stuff she's an awesome awesome hairstylist and even more awesome person so excited y'all but I have to tell y'all that and I'll probably try to catch my mom's reaction too on camera when I tell her that the girl is willing to do her hair too because my mom I kind of felt bad because I was like if I get my hair braided and my mom just out there kind of when the humidity hits that's gonna be kind of bogus it's her birthday so um she was like what am I gonna do to my hair she was just telling me that yesterday so she's gonna lose it she's gonna lose it all right see y'all then I'm gonna say bye later <laughs> i was like you know i'm surprised at my mom for puerto rico and i don't think it's right that i'm getting my hair braided and she's not and she was just talking to me the other day about wanting to get her hair done and she was like i'll do it <laughs> that's what i'm talking about yeah partner What up, you guys? We made it through TSA and all that. That was a mess, y'all. My luggage was 71 pounds. Just so you know, and we're flying United. Just so you know, if it is 70 pounds and over, it'll be $200 to check one bag, okay? On top of the bag check feet in the first place. So I took some stuff out, put it in my mama bag, put some stuff in my backpack, and got it under 70, so it was $100. But that's just a fun fact don't have any bag over, over 70 pounds but my mom she still doesn't know what hotel or resort or whatever we're staying at yet but based off the plane ticket it showed that we're going to san juan puerto rico so she knows that mm. now mm. oh mama we about to walk past our gate up here talking to these people it sees downstairs <laughs> i'm dead but everything seems very more realistic and stuff every uh oh Everything seems way more realistic once you get through TSA and stuff. And then, you know how sometimes, like, on the internet it said that we didn't need a passport, but you just never know until you really get here. You didn't need a passport for Puerto Rico, so that was dope. Oh my gosh, she gonna cry, y'all. But yeah, we're on our way to our gate. They start boarding at 7-Eleven. It's like 7.02 right now, so gonna get on our flight and head to Puerto Rico. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, y'all. See y'all. I don't know when. But we'll see y'all. On the other side. <laughs> Thank you.
about to leave the airport. I actually didn't know that. I thought Ubers were at San Juan, but supposedly you can only, oh, there it is, thank you. Oh, perfect, thank you. Supposedly you can only Uber back to the airport, not leave the airport with Uber. So we're taking a taxi right now. Hello. Good. And my mom and I actually just booked like a rainforest tour. They called us right when we were about to leave out the airport. Thank you. Yeah, so she wanted to do that for her birthday, so we're doing that Thursday. Ugh. Oh, you got a window too. Yeah. But we will see you guys at the hotel. Yes, we will. like really close to our hotel it's like a three minute walk and it was highly suggested by one of the people who went to the hotel so we're gonna check it out the food looks really good on here though so yeah we're in Puerto Rico wow thank you this is sweet and spicy shrimp y'all and sweet and spicy calamari it's so flavorful you did the calamari first it is flavorful Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Let me try the shrimp now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Wow. Girl. <laughs> wow. This is serious. What did you get exactly? Do you remember? Uh, it was like beef and chicken. And sausage. Rice with mm -hmm. plantains. Right. And I forgot what this is called, but I'm nervous about this because I'm a very basic person. <laughs> I usually don't try stuff outside my comfort zone like this, but we'll see. Mm. He's still eating the appetizers. Oh God, I can't. <laughs> ah, you know, it's okay. It kind of reminds me of the yam. But it's spiced up. I'm gonna try it. You too. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. 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 I would have preferred that. You can really change it. I don't think so. You say change my meal? Yes. If you don't like it, excuse me. She doesn't like it. You don't like it? You don't like it. Oh. She likes this. What do you want to do? Can I switch it for that? This the same? Yeah. Oh, I always feel bad. Mm -mm. It'll be mm -mm. like five minutes. Okay, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Not when you're paying for these. I know, but still. Somebody's going to eat it. Uh -huh. I'm going to translate it in Spanish. Okay. It's a paella of chicken, beef, and sausage. In Spanish, it's paella de carnes. 
pollo y churrasco. Está buenísima. Very good. Mm, it, really it is really good. Take another picture of it before I cheer it up. Wow, this is a video. <laughs> I got the same exact dishes. My mom, hers tastes really good. I sent back the other one. And Michael's nice enough to give me a new plate. So I'm excited about to dig in. I came in the room first because I want to see my mom's reaction when she walks in. Come on, mom! So we're gonna get her initial reaction. Wow. Oh my god, this is this is beautiful. This is a suite with a balcony. What? This is an apartment. Just go. That's my mom. But <laughs> we just got in the room. Immediately hit the bed because we are tired. Okay. Let them see your bonnet, mom. Gotcha. The bonnets are on. Ooh. Typical black mother and daughter. <laughs> and we're gonna take a good power nap. Power. And figure things out from there. But yeah, we are beat. The room is very nice though. Probably when I wake up, I'll give a better. I'll give a better. <laughs> Room tour. I'm so hungry. I mean, I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. So we are out here on the rooftop of our hotel, just chilling and stuff. We have our margaritas, and we also ordered some truffle fries and a chicken salad. Mm -hmm. Got to slam on that. Mm -hmm. Happy 63rd birthday! Yay. It's midnight, mom. 63, baby. Like it and love it. Cause I do. I approve. How about you? What, are you trying to rhyme? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. Thank you sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My 63rd birthday, I will never ever forget. We're sitting out here on this beautiful day. Beautiful balcony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Y
Alrighty y'all, so we actually just got back to the hotel. I did not end up filming the quote unquote tour because if you've ever heard of a timeshare or whatever, like we had to go through that whole process, which was a mess. We lost two to three hours of quality Puerto Rico time, but it's cool right now. About to head to the beach with my mom, you know, get some pictures, enjoy Puerto Rico the way we should have for those two to three hours that we'll never get back. For the record, just so you know, when people are approaching you with like different deals or whatever, saying, oh, you have to do this to get this amount of money off, low key to me, it's not all that worth it. I'd rather have just paid the full price for this um, rainforest beach tour we're going on tomorrow than to have sat through two, three hours of savages trying to force us damn near to buy timeshare stuff, even though we said no however many times and however many ways, but that's neither here nor there can't get that time back so it's cool but yeah my mom is getting dressed right now i'm pretty much dressed i think i showed y'all before but i just love this outfit <laughs> if you follow me on instagram then you probably saw this picture and that picture was actually during the tour the timeshare tour so i guess i did get kind of something out of it although it was a waste of time i got that beautiful view y'all like the picture was fire so we're about to hit the beach look at this look at this fine thing look at this but, oh my gosh, where are the shades? My shoulders in the shades. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. We're about to hit the beach. Mm. Hit the beach. Damn right. Could be where I'm right now. Well, you kind of look cool when you're warm how you warm. Over your eyes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Either way, you're mm -hmm. gonna fly. Thank you, dog. Yeah, Thank there you. we go. Look at Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're walking to the beach right now, y'all. And I felt the. <laughs> okay, she's singing. Yay. Oh, this is it, ma. Oh, it's a big sign right there. I felt the sun on my skin. You just know when the Amen. sun is hitting oh, you, right? Yes. You know? You know? It's oh, now it's not hitting. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call this place? The partner? Oh, my God. Or the, I don't know, this is in connection to our hotel, y'all. This is another form of the Marriott. But it has like the beachfront and stuff and a water, or in a pool and stuff. It's a little better than our place. So you just get free access here. But it's beautiful here. Ready to go down? Let's do this. you when we get our food at the tour starts to come. Alright, so we got our drinks. Show them your drink. Oh. She, we switched drinks actually. She took my frozen margarita and I took her on the rocks margarita. <laughs> we got both passion fruit. Right. Okay. And then we got the appetizer. It's Tell the them what fiesta. What? Oh. It's passion fruit, y'all. It has little seeds that taste like jello. <laughs> anyway, this is the appetizer. It's called the Fiesta something. I don't know, but it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. Food has arrived. I don't know what More the hand food. gestures is. This is a steak mm. quesadilla. Mm. We got a little extra, extra. Yeah, and my mom got. What did you get, Ma? Chicken and beef. Okay. It's a quesadilla also. Quesadilla. Yes, ma'am. We're about to slay. We're gonna work out. Oh, all I don't know about that. <laughs> so we 
are en route to start our excursion for today. We have to meet them at the hotel though that we went to yesterday um, to go to the beach and stuff. So I'm kind of pushing it because we have to be there at 8.30 and it's like 8.17. And the elevator decided to stop at every single floor. So yeah, we'll make it, but we'll see you guys when we get settled. God, I'm we move. When we talk about the rainforest, we're talking about four different types of forests that exist up here. The Tabonuco tree was named by our Taino Indians. The Taino Indians were here long before Christopher Columbus even came to Puerto Rico. That's why I have a problem saying that he discovered the island, or America for that matter. The Tabonuco tree, named by the Taino Indians, it's the most majestic tree of the rainforest. It goes through a trail called Big Tree Trail, which is currently closed. Big Tree Trail, or the Tabonuco tree, if you go through the uh, forest and you find one, you go ahead and grab a piece of stick from the ground, go up to the tree bark, scrape off that white film you see on it, smell it. It's the best thing you're gonna do to yourself. Don't worry, you're not gonna get high. Mm. <laughs> this is pure eucalyptus. Wow. It is so pure, it is flammable. That is one of four different types of forests that exist up there. Then we have Sierra Palm Forest. All you're gonna see are Sierra Palm trees. All up and down the uh, forest, that's all you're gonna see. But guess what? The palm trees attract lightning. So that's one place you wanna stay away from. Looking over the uh, rainforest now, what do you see above the uh, forest? Rain. Huh? Rain. Rain. You see rain, he sees clouds. You receive approximately 200 to 250 inches of rain per year. Uh, so those clouds are always up there and it's called the cloud forest. So those are the four different types of forests. Again, let's recap. We have the uh, cloud forest, door forest, Tabonuco forest, and we have the Sierra Palm forest. <laughs> Uh, card. Mm -hmm. If you are Thank here you. for uh, this one is uh, strawberry, but they also have bananas, mangoes. They have different flavors. Oh my god! <laughs> you see? Authentic. Look at that view, Ma. Oh my god! So this tower we're going in right now, y'all. He had said that they were helping to train. Vietnam soldiers for war in this tower. Isn't that crazy? 98 steps up. Majestic. <laughs> uh, let me show you guys the food we got. It's delicious. At the end of the war, back in 1901, Theodore Roosevelt, as President of the United States, comes to Puerto Rico for the very first time. But in 1903, Theodore Roosevelt returns to the island in search for the cure of polio. While doing so, he sets aside 28,000 acres of land in which we're in right now and names it to be the position. 
making El Junque the only tropical rainforest slash the smallest rainforest in the U.S. forest system. By the year 1917, under the Jones Act, all Puerto Ricans were given American citizenship. Among other things under the Jones Act, we were given the right to vote in the primary for presidency. No, we cannot vote in the general elections. No, it does not make any sense. We just made a pit stop over here, y'all. I'm telling them we made a pit oh, stop. Yes. I keep forgetting to vlog different things. Oh. What would you call this, though? It's like a rocky fall, a waterfall. No, not a waterfall. I forgot. I'll have him remind me. But it's pretty cool over here. Oh, throw one of the chips, Ma, so they can see the animals. Go for it. <laughs> well, they're not going to be bad. We were yeah, closer over here. Right. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, they don't want to show mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's far east. And it got it. Look at him. Going oh, on hell. <laughs> All right. We're gone, y'all. What's this difference. beach called again? Luquillo Beach or Montserrat would be the uh, legal name, Montserrat. If you go to those restrooms, you will pay a dollar every time you go there. Oh, wow. So I'm going to show you the free restrooms. Don't worry. <laughs> the yellow building right there is a souvenir shop. You can get towels or whatever you need from that building. So blue. Oh, my God. Isn't it wow. Oh, this sand is hella freaking hot. Oh, my God. It isn't, no, it feels Ma, this stuff is hot as hell. Y'all, the camera is not doing this water well justice. It's so aqua blue. She writing. What did you write? I love you, Easy. <laughs> love you too, Mom. <laughs> Everybody's getting these pineapple, pineapple, pineapple drinks from here, y'all. Let's see what they got. <laughs> Mango, strawberry, thirteen thirty eight. Mira, se va, se va. Dile cuánta, cuánta, mami, cuánta. Here we go. Heavy. They cheat us so much in America. I tried it. This is America. This is America. To a great vacation. Well deserved. Thank you. It's not over yet, y'all, but this is just like the, the climax. Mm, we went on excursion. It's the end of our excursion now, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful beach. It was a beautiful experience, honestly, which I'm, I'm sure y'all saw. Well, the stuff that I was able to record, other stuff I just want to be in the moment. But you enjoy yourself. I have had a ball for a lifetime. Sixty-three years old. Yeah. Bringing it in, right, baby. Cheers, baby. Yeah, baby. Right. We're actually about to check out. We're kind of in a rush though because our flight is at like 2.30 and it's already noon so we're trying to leave. But I want to give you guys a quick room tour. I don't remember doing that real quick. So let's hop into this. Front door to your very left is the first washroom. Very nice square toilet. Nice shower. Bomb mirror. What hotel doesn't have bomb mirrors? Then to your right will be like this little refrigerator safety box hanging up clothes area. Then we have our living room area, desk, little dining table, 
um, flat screen TV and stuff. I don't really know what that's for, but that's there. Then this is the balcony. Absolutely beautiful in the morning and very peaceful at night. I'm sure you guys have a better view. This is our view from our balcony, the city, and the water. So beautiful. All right. Then going to the bedroom, have a little lounge couch, another big window view. This was our bed, another flat screen TV and whatever the hell this is. Then this is the second washroom. This was my mom's washroom. Same little thing that was at the side of, on the right side of the door when I came in. Nice shower, nice mirror, hey girl. And then this is a little private toilet area. But yeah, y'all, that is a quick room tour. Fastest room tour, honestly, in America. Y'all know how Beauty Gang does it. We stupid lit over here, so of course we'd have the fastest room tour time. But anyway, I'm um, gonna go ahead and probably see y'all at the airport. Yeah, guys, so we are in the airport. We're about to take off in the next about 30 minutes or so, but we had a great trip here in Puerto Rico. Really God. hope you guys enjoyed. It's like they kind of came on a trip with us, but didn't get the full luxury of you know enjoying the in the moment thing but anyway really hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys would like me to like vlog more of my travel experiences give this video a thumbs up and comment below to let me know do you have anything to say for closing what a 63rd birthday my baby made it happen amen all right mom. thank you sweetie. all right beauty gang what do we do? I was about to do peace, love, and hair grease. Oh, I was going to say until next time. But all right. Bye. Bye. Safe <laughs> journey. Safe They're journey, not going babe. anywhere. I know we are. Oh. Pray for us. <laughs>